So I'm going to take the pumpkin seeds all over here to the sink, and I'm going to clean them out. I've got to, I put them in a colander. Whenever I can save steps, I like to save steps. So now I'm just going to take and put that in there. Okay, and I'm just going to clean them, just going to wash them like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I find any long, nasty pieces of pumpkin, I'm going to pull them out. But as you can see, most of it's coming out the bottom because mm -hmm. I don't have any long, nasty pieces of pumpkin because of the way I fished them out of the pumpkin to begin with. Right. All right. So when I get that done, let them drain for just a second. I actually don't want them to get completely dry. I'm going to get me a big bowl. Okay. And put the pumpkin seeds in there. Now, everybody does this. Some people dry the seeds completely out before they roast them. You know what? That's stupid. You're roasting them. They'll dry out in the oven. <laughs> you don't have to do that. We always make them the same day that we do the pumpkin, and then we eat them within the next three or four days. But we've had them for as much as, what, two or three weeks? Yeah. Well, because sometimes I wind up doing literally dozens, dozens of fucking of, pumpkins. Yeah. So, and I make seeds out of all of them, because as you know, I don't like to waste anything. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm going to take a little vegetable oil. Now, I look at the amount of seeds I have. There's no measuring in this kitchen. You know why? Because measuring's for socks! Unless, of course, I'm doing it. Well, because I'm a sock. I did say it's for socks, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's what you said. So I was going to throw that in there. And then I like to put a, duff, a bunch of different seasoning on it. I like to use cavenders, you know, it's Greek seasoning. I like to use a bunch of that. I like to use a bunch of, of cavenders. And then I like to use a bunch of seasoned salt because that's good stuff to season salt so i use a bunch of seasoned salt and you're like oh that's too much no it's not when's the last time you eat sunflower seeds they're salty as hell i hope we have more seasoned salt because i think yes that's... we do underneath the bed thank god <laughs> the apocalypse would be over if we ran out of seasoned salt <laughs> okay and so this i'm going to use some cayenne pepper because i also like a little heat on there this is cayenne pepper that um, a couple of years ago, I, I grew like, what, two cayenne pepper yeah. plants? Yeah. Yeah, this is the, uh, oh, we're getting close to using a half of a quart. <laughs> yeah. It may be, we're going to run out someday. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this all up now. And you'll see, that looks like a lot of spice. The minute I start mixing on those seeds, you're like going, that's not enough. Yeah. That's what always happens too. <laughs> That's a damn cayenne. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Bless you. That's what happens when you get 40 pounds of cayenne pepper up your nose. But you know it's really good for you, so there you go. Yep. Okay. So, do you think it needs some more cavenders? I don't know. That's up to you. I think it needs some more cavenders. By God. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just going to leave that now and let that sit there for about 30 minutes. Then I'll come in and I'll show you what we do next. Sounds good. Okay, so we've got our oven at 350. I'm going to take a regular old cookie pan, okay? I'm not going to grease it because what I, it's the first thing I put on these seeds. Oil. Oil. Okay. So I'm just going to take them now. I'm going to put them on your sheet pan. Rachel Ray, I'm fucking not. <laughs> okay. So, I've got them on my sheet pan. Now I'm just going to spread them out as thin as I can get them. One year we had pans and pans and pans of these waiting to go in the oven. Oh, yeah. I don't remember why we had so many. We had kids carving pumpkins too. Oh, that's right. We had a park pumpkin carving, pumpkin contest. carving contest. Yeah. So we had, yeah. So. We had seeds everywhere. And all <laughs> I got to do during the pumpkin carving contest was get the seeds out. Yes. Because <laughs> everybody was, yeah, I, I gutted the pumpkins and then they carved them. So 
So yeah, we had buckets and buckets. Yeah, we had a lot of pumpkin seeds that time. And our boys still ate them all. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, now I'm just gonna slide it into the oven. I'm gonna set the oven. I'm gonna set my timer for about 15 minutes. Okay. And then I'll come in and check on it. No. And reset it if you need to and, and whatever. And reset it if I need to or take it out if I need to. You'd be surprised. Sometimes they cook really fast and sometimes it takes longer. Okay. I'm turning off. Here's what happens. So here's what happens. You have to keep a close eye on these because they go from not done to burnt in about three seconds if you're not careful. See, I've got some on the one side of the pan that actually are trying to burn. So you just want to stir them up. Keep them stirring them up and keep letting them go. And It's been, what, about 20 minutes? It, yeah, it's been about 15. About 15? Yeah. So now I'm going to actually put them deeper because that will cause them not to... Uh, not to dry as quickly. Not to dry as quickly because at this point I'm trying to slow them down a little bit. But I still need them to be thin enough that they're dry. I just don't want to have any loose ones because they'll burn. Okay. Awesome. So I'll stick it back in there for a few more minutes. should take about five, ten more minutes. In fact, what I'll probably do is come in in five minutes and turn the damn oven off so it just sets in the hot oven and just finishes off that, that way. Sounds good. Okay, so I cooked them off for about 20, 25 minutes. It's different every time. I can't tell you exactly. You just have to keep an eye on them because, like I said, they go from they're raw till they're, till they're burnt pretty quick. Okay, so then what I did was after that period of time, I turned the oven off and I just left them in there to dry. And I will probably put them back in there and let them stay in there all night to dry out a little bit more. But as you can see, we have a nice golden brown color. Delicious. And yummy. A healthy, good snack. Mm hmm easy to make not hard and otherwise thrown in the trash well or or, or you see people mm. make them and they make a federal case out of it yeah they're not hard they're not hard to make thank you thank you very much mm -hmm.